Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. When Epson launched the SureColor P20570 printer earlier this year, we expected it to bring major color gamut expansion to their 64-inch Aqueous printer offering. Its 12-color ink set boasts three more inks versus the outgoing 64-inch P20000 printer. Today, we're going to dissect the color gamut of the Epson P20570 and show you just how much more you can expect from the new platform. For eight years, the Epson P20000 was the pinnacle of aqueous print production. It offered blazing print speeds and 200-year archival inks. So how do you improve on the best production aqueous printer in the market? When Epson launched the SureColor P20570, they looked to push the envelope on print quality in true Epson fashion. To do this, they took the nine color ink set of the P20000 and they looked for how to extend the reaches of the gamut so that customers could print colors that were previously unobtainable. To do this, they introduced three new ink cartridges, orange, green, and violet. These dedicated channels won't make every print look better, but it expands what is possible. For customers that couldn't previously hit a neon orange logo, now they can. For photographers printing lush landscapes, those most vibrant green tones can now be printed to their full beauty. In fact, the new P20570 will now reach 99% of the Pantone coded color guide. The best way to see the difference between the color gamut of the P20000 and the P20570 is with the software called ColorThink Pro. For this, I'll send it to our expert color consultant, Jim Mamihi, for a comparison. Hello, this is Jim Mamihi from IT Supplies. Today I'm going to show you the differences between the gamut of the P20000 and the new P2570 from Epson. So what you're looking at here on the inside of this wireframe is the old P20,000 gamut on hot press natural. And as you can see, as I move this around, the new printer has just a much, much larger gamut, particularly in your greens, oranges, yellows, um, et cetera. Like you can even see some highlight blues and purples as well. Um, and then back here on this side, due to the violet ink, you can see an extended gamut range here also. A little bit easier to see the 2D model on the bottom, so you can see how much wider outside we are on the P2570 over the old P2000. Uh, I'll also show you premium luster as well. Uh, so you can see here, you know, the premium luster following suit the same way. We're seeing pretty much an extended gamut all the way around um, the color wheel here. So very, very large gamut. Uh, let's take a look at some of the percentages here. So if I take a look and look at the actual gamut volume, you'll see that the P20,000 is 468,000 cubic units. We're now 584,000 on hot press natural. So almost a 25% gamut volume increase, okay? And then on the uh, premium luster, what we're seeing here is uh, 753 versus 927. So about a 23% increase in gamut volume on premium luster as well. Hopefully you found this useful. I'll bring it back to Andy. Thanks, Jim. That visual representation of the extended gamut of the P20,570 helps to show where new customers could expect to see increased color range. With 20% plus, larger color volume, the P20,000 570 will meet the needs of even the most demanding print shop. When you consider the increased 1.6 liter ink capacity and the class leading print speeds, the Epson P20,000 570 offers a compelling upgrade path to anyone who currently has an Epson P20,000 printer. If you have questions about the Epson P20,000 570, we'd love to be your first call you can find us at itsupplies.com. We'd be glad to print samples, run a virtual demo, or host you in our Chicago area solution center. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching, have a great day.